Today, we would like to talk about stress. Oh my goodness. We love to talk about stress because, you know, what would the world be without stress? Well, I have had a good portion of it for the last months. It has been too overwhelming. Years. Years. So, my husband actually gave me a weekend away so that I will relax and I am so thankful. Thank you. But, but I couldn't live without her so I, I came to visit. You know. so anyway, I will leave her again. Okay? Yes, so, so anyway, now that I visit <laughs> uh, my wife, he says, what? why don't we talk about stress? Oh. You know? Yes, so that's what we're going to talk today about. Stress is something extremely overwhelming, unnecessary, but it has become part of our daily lives and we don't even realize it. I was really shaken by a good friend of ours who told me... Shaken? Shaken. Shaken. Shocked. I was shocked. Überrascht. Überraschung. I don't know that. Okay. Yeah. Where were you gonna go there? Oh my goodness! Is this show this money too? <laughs> no, it's a Swiss comedian. Anyway, oh. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Let's focus. Yes. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what more face this thing is gonna show of me later. Anyway, yeah. so, yes. so back to stress. It is so unnecessary, and but we have become so used to being stressed out i mean just the 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 mundane of life has it can be so overwhelming and oh I, I guess i had not even realized myself how stressed inwardly i was yeah and yeah it's not a new saying you know that that's already this whole idea of burnout and stuff has been has been big uh, all over the the planet already the last years you know but it, it's it's getting worse I, I find um, and now with the whole uh, corona thing going on I, we hear so many people being depressed and stressed out and suicides you know there was just another suicide here in Barbados oh, wow. uh, yesterday yeah. I haven't looked at the news so, in the last two days. Yeah, you know, we, we, uh, we, we just did a, a intercession time here on Friday uh, against suicide and stuff. And because it's really getting big, even here in the Caribbean, in the islands, you know, like you should think, hey, here everybody's cool, you know, smoking marijuana and eating fish and stuff. But that is but a misconception. It is, you know, like not everybody eats fish. Starting from there. <laughs> no. I mean, that's a reason no. to be stressed out, no. right? Okay, no, but people, <laughs> yeah. people are stressed out because of all the insecurity and not knowing what the future, what the future brings and stuff, and and everything is changing. You know, everything changes. One thing can be true today and false tomorrow, and yeah, it's it's difficult. It's really difficult. So yeah. many people are suffering and. Yeah, we too. Um, it's in different ways, yeah. but yeah, I mean, God has been good to us, definitely. But yeah, I mean, we, I have people writing me, asking me for prayer and counseling, and it is heartbreaking. Oh my goodness, it is tough for some people, and I, I count myself blessed by by knowing the love of the Lord, and but still, I have been stressed myself with with my own life and the the things that i believe i have to do and how i need to do them and i seem to have a too square of a mindset that i have not even been aware of and and that's part of what i wanted to share like yesterday i dare to do something i have never done in my life oh 
I was by myself in the place that my husband chose for me. Yay! And there was this um, possibility to do water skiing. And anyone that knows me, I have respect for water. But I thought, you know, I'm alone. I'm not going to make a fool of myself in front of anybody else. Which was also a, a thing that I realized how intense it has been for me to never make a fool of myself. But we haven't talked about this. Uh, that was also another deep thing that came this these days where I have been processing and, and how I have always longed to encourage people instead of putting them down. It comes from never doing that thing that I hate so much. I don't like to humiliate people and ridiculize anybody because I don't like that to happen to me. So anyway, so I'm, I'm doing this. I thought I can do this. And I, I sign all the papers that I need to sign, all the liability and the waivers. And they, the guy who's gonna be the instructor, he tells me that it's gonna be easy, that I should just relax. And he explained me what I need to do, and I put the skis, and I had to jump from the boat. It was exciting. Uh, it was a little adventure. And um, he says, you have to have the right position. You have to bend your knees, and your ankles need to touch your butt when you are there, because it, it's all about the position, and your arms have to be straight out, touching the water. And I will tell you when you can stand up. You should not stand up before I pull you out of the water. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. But, okay. So I, we start, we try the first time, and oh my goodness, that boat has such an intense power. <laughs> and no long after that, whew, I just, it ripped out of my hands the thing I have to hold. And then he, he the boat comes back, he was so patient, the instructor. <laughs> then we did it like three times and I was still not standing up completely, but I was sort of coming out of the water, but I was still falling down. And then the guy said to me, you are overthinking this. And I'm like, oh, don't I hear this very often? <laughs> you don't have to overthink this. It is not with your strength that you're gonna do this. And I, I'm thinking, I mean, he sounds like he's preaching at me somehow. And I'm listening, okay, and I'm trying to follow the instructions. And then I try to do it, and I'm focusing, and I'm looking, okay, the skis have to be straight up and not bending, and I'm checking all my positions, and I'm so concentrated into doing everything right. And then the guy screams at me from the boat, and he says, don't look at the skis, look at me, and bend your knees. And for a moment I thought, oh, it was God screaming to me. I, I, nobody else just ever says to me, look at me, look at me, only God speaks to me this way. So as soon as he said that, I realized the skis were the tools that God has given me and I have focused too much on, on the things that I have been entrusted with and I'm looking at them and it, they're overwhelming. I'm trying to, to make this straight and do everything right. And there was this man screaming, just stop looking at them. All you have to do is look at me and bend your knees. Yeah, I, just, okay. Sorry. I, I, I was shocked at, at just listening this so clear. Look at me and bend your knees. I was about to just start crying from the fact of how loud the Lord was speaking to me right there in the in the ocean. So I do that. I, I, I was, all the positions were right. I look at him. I stopped looking at everything else and I stood up. <laughs> but I was so shocked that I stood up and eventually, uh, and then he's looking at me, he's like, like, you're doing good, you're doing good now, stand up, stand up. And then <laughs> I'm playing stand up. <laughs> Sorry. I have to laugh at myself. I'm standing up and bending down because I'm not sure what he's telling me with his hand. Eventually I fall down again. And then he says, you don't have to be so surprised uh, that you're standing up and you're doing very good. 
it, it was awesome just just to receive the encouragement from from an absolute stranger that was precious to me yesterday I, I I felt so ministered by the Lord just just by that experience of daring to do something that I would have never done before I would have never done that you know that I mean he he would love to for me to become a fish like his but there's no way yeah, but I, I love that, you know, the whole look at me and bend your knees, that's awesome, you know, it's such a good message, yeah. you know, it's a great message, really, when everything becomes so overwhelming, you know, just look at me and bend your knees, that's beautiful, you know, I mean, it's, it's not like this very complicated thing. But yeah, it's so easy to become overwhelmed by all this mm. stuff, you know. I mean, it's, it's it's real, you know. All the challenges are real. Yeah. You know, I mean, so many people that don't know how to pay their rent, you know, next week. Um, you know. Actually, next, this week. This week, you know, next year, whatever, you know. I mean, that. Uh, yeah. Mm. You know, and uh, I mean, we we as missionaries, we have lived in. In uncertainty since 20 years you know I mean it has been kind of become our lifestyle in like not knowing what's gonna happen and, and trusting trusting God in a way you know it's it it's sounds sounds cool sounds exciting but it's also is is exhausting in some way if you do it out of yourself you know if you do it out of your own strength you do not trust in the boat you know <laughs> that that it's the, the power of the boat if you still think you have to do it yeah that was something that i was doing mm -hmm. because uh, and and the, as long as i thought i had to help it i was doing the wrong thing and he said no when you feel the strength of the boat you're pulling backwards but that's wrong you need to go forward and that doesn't make sense when you feel the power of this boat pulling you. It's like, oh my goodness, my immediate response was to to go back. And he's like, no, you have to go forward with the speed, with the pulling effect. And then the Lord was telling me later, actually, I drew the, the whole position because I, I, I had to, um, what's the word? I had to um, keep it forever. That that moment of the position I drew it. Inter no, no, eternalize it. I don't remember the word. Um, the Lord tell me it. I am the force that pulls you out of the place where you're in, and all you have to do is trust me. Ah, oh, that was beautiful. That moment with, with the Lord. That's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. You know, it's really trust trusting him. Also another thing that, that really beautiful. struck me was was the fact that during these days I have longed to to hear the voice of the Lord how he normally speaks to me. And he hasn't been that way. And I felt it's a season to dare. And when you dare he speaks to you. That, that's also something that's I feel. It's like, okay, you need to come out of the area where you're comfortable. And there, there is a new thing for you, dear. And I will be there with you. That's good. Yeah. Dear, I'll be there. Wow. A new song. And a book. Dear, I'll be there. <laughs> Excellent. I think it's going to be a whole new book series, preaching series, and uh, finding yourself seminar, you know, dare, I'll be there. But you sold it out already. Yeah, well, now we have to make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, well, that's good. I think there's not much to say about that, you know, that's, that's great. This is awesome. You know, trust God, look to Him, not to your issues and circumstances and problems. Trust him, not out of your own strength, but out of his strength. It's good, you know, that, that's enough. That's more than enough to, to think and to meditate upon. It's good.
good. It works on the water and it works also on the dry land. Bend yeah. your knees. Bend your knees and look to me. Yeah. So Papa, thank you for for that word. Yes. And Papa, I pray yeah, that you help us to just yeah, simply make it happen in our daily lives, God. When things are not working, when they are overwhelming, yeah, when the when the waters are crashing in from all sides, God, and just to yeah, look to you and bend our knees, Father. Trust that you are the one pulling us out, God. Yeah, thank you, Papa. Thank you that you desire us to look at you. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Amen. Later. <laughs>